What's going on everybody? We got some bad news for you guys. I'm sure you guys have already seen and you do see on the title that Toronto Armstead is going to be out against the Chargers. He's out with a hip and leg injury. Uh, he hasn't been performing at all since the Texans joint practices and it was a long shot for him to be back for this game. They've been preparing for Kendall Lamb to be the starting left tackle for the entire week and that does look like it's going to be the case. There are still some question marks in the offensive line as to whether it's going to be Isaiah Wynn or Liam Eichenberg alongside him at left guard, but we do for sure know that our best offensive lineman basically is going to be missing the game with these injuries. We saw him miss multiple games last year due to multiple different injuries. Uh, he was really powering through there at the end to try to play, and he was trying to do the same for this week. Uh, it's been reported that he really wanted to play, but Mike McDaniel has decided it would be better that he does not play, hold him out for the long-term benefit of the team, and also for for uh, himself, for Armstead himself. Don't want to be picking up any additional injuries, making things worse, making a bad situation worse than it already is. Uh, hopeful that he will return for week two against the Patriots, but that's, uh, we'll see what happens when we get to that. But we know for a fact that we're going to be without him. And going into this Chargers week, with the Dolphins and the Chargers, some of the biggest things that you look at is mostly on the offensive side of the ball be between the two teams. The, co the, the comparison between Tua and Justin Herbert, you look at the offensive weapons on both sides. You look at Austin Eckler, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen for the Chargers, for the Miami Dolphins, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, obviously, for, for the Dolphins and, and Tua. But something that has got a little understated is how good this Chargers defense can be with Bosa and Kilo Mack on the other side on the defensive line. Two of the best edge rushers in all of football. Now they can take their turns going at both tackle positions, which we know aren't going to be the strongest. We'll see what Austin Jackson looks like out on the right. You know, hasn't had the best start to his Dolphins career, and this is a real make-or-break season for him. Uh, but definitely going with the back of left tackle, going with Kendall Lamb as opposed to Thoron Armstead is definitely going to be a, a massive difference for this Dolphins offense, for how well this Dolphins offensive line holds up, for how long Tua is going to have the ability to sit there in the pocket. The the run game, you know, we didn't go out and get Jonathan Taylor, somebody who's going to be able to run it up the middle. It's going to be even more difficult now with both, obviously, Jonathan Taylor isn't a Dolphin and Jeff Wilson missing the game, and now Thoron Armstead missing the game. Raheem Mostert, Devon A-Chain, Savon so Ahmed, it's going to be a tougher task for them to, to get some, some yards out of the backfield. And for Tua to stay upright, we'll see what happens with, with his mobility, his ability to take a hit. I don't, we've, we talked about so many times about how uh, injury prone he was last season. It's something that you want to have your best offensive line available to protect him in front, uh, to protect in front of him uh, with Armstead going down. So. Definitely, definitely not ideal. We did our we did our uh, preview yesterday on the live stream, and that's going to be out uh, probably tomorrow around noon ish. So stay tuned for that. I'm not sure if we talked about Toronto Armstead at all during that, but it definitely makes a pretty big difference in the game as to what the, the how the score is going to go, how the game is going to go. Having one of the best left tackles in football, having one of the best players on the team in general missing, and at such a pivotal position where. The rest of the offensive line, we, we know how hit or miss it can be. You hate to see it. Uh, but Toronto Armstead, not going to be playing. Let us know your comments down below about your thoughts on Toronto Armstead missing the game against the Chargers. Let us know some of your thoughts about the game in general tomorrow. And look out for that preview we'll be releasing tomorrow around noonish again. Uh, so, yeah, look out for that. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody.